Hello, and welcome to my Titanium Series Vehicle Tour. We got some others in the room that I'll get to later. Building some stuff. We got some more ships, and we'll, we'll get to those. Let's start in the first row. We have our Nabu. Got our royal ship from episode one, looking beautiful. An MTT. Those are, I mean, that one's not that expensive. This one, it used to be expensive, but it's been popping up everywhere in these three packs, so it's not really expensive anymore. And we got Anakin's Pod Racer in the back there. I ordered uh, the other Pod Racer that he like beats, and it's coming soon. Um, we got a droid control ship, so nice, this is the episode 2, like, Naboo ship that gets blown up in the beginning, um, it's just, a. I just want to put with the, with the episode 1 stuff, then we got a nice mall ship, the Sith Infiltrator, a nice paint job on that one, you could, like, see the specks of dust. Ready. I'll just move on. We got the less expensive yellow version of the Naboo fighter. I eventually want the blue one, but this will do for now. And then we have the episode one vulture droid. Mm, yeah, just episode one colorway looking good. Now we move on to the second row. It's kind of like episode two, but the first four rows are just effectively Clone Wars stuff. Um, so this is the Hellfire droid. You know, only on Geonosis, really, but still a classic. Got the blue colorway for the tank. Got an AT, what are those, AT-APs, uh, Scout Walkers, shits. Um, and then we got Anakin, the Starfire in the bottom, the cockpit's actually falling off. Look, we'll probably get a better one soon, or eventually. Um, we got... A tri fighter droid in the back there, looking beautiful. And um, another vulture droid, but this one's a blue and black colorway. Looks super nice. The wings expand and stuff. And then this is one of my personal favorites the Shark Republic gunship. Looks incredible. I just love that. And we got a chrome slave one, just for the colors, you know, just for that color. It hits off, it's so nice. Alright, now we get the third row, this is one of my favorite rows. We got the AT, like, OP or something, just like a transport. It's cool as fuck. All the legs are adjustable and stuff. And you got an ATT here. Yeah. The adjustable gun. Got Obi Wan Starfighter back there. And yeah, that thing's pretty pretty inexpensive to get. We got a roly poly, roly poly. I um, forget what that's called. You know where it is. We got a swamp thing. I don't really like these that much. They're fine. I have a green colorway too. It's nice, but they're not so cool. Um, we got Anakin's fighter. This one's a little harder to find than Obi Wan's, but there's a bunch of Jedi Star Fighters that I don't have. I literally have three. There's like fifteen. Um, then I have this Republic tank. This one was like it's like a hundred to a hundred thirty dollars online. I got it for thirty three. Total steal. Adjustable guns and everything. It's beautiful. Um. And then we got the invisible hand. The paint job on this one's really nice. Still done. Still complete. It's great. It is great looking. And we got an arc red colorway. Looking beautiful. One of my favorites too. There's a lot of arcs. There's a shark colorway. Which I gotta get. The shark version of the arc. The shark arc. And in the next row, we got a droid gunship. This one's hard to find. It's kind of like $80 when it does come around. You know, like sometimes 30 or something. The guns under it are nice. It's got a lot of guns. 
And we got a Y Wing. Clone Wars era Y Wing. Action Fleet label. We got a V Wing. The wings are kind of folded because this glass is not too big. We got the Django Fett Slave one. Um, it actually has a second hole where you can place it at a better angle, but I can't fit it in this row otherwise. I should probably move it up to this row and put that other one down there. Probably will do that, actually. And we got another Jedi Starfighter. I think this is Obi-Wan's from Episode 2, yeah. Um, I actually have that, like, the, the ring that goes around that, but, like, I... It was like bent when I got it, and so it's just like doesn't look good, so it's just better gone. We got the torrent. This thing's hard as hell to find. Like this thing's so hard, you could like a hundred something dollars. And this is a black colorway for the gunship, Republic gunship. Like you don't, you just don't see that. Like you don't see that. I've seen one listing for that, and it was in like a box for like a thousand dollars. It was one of them, one of like five. So, yeah, that one's sick. Now we got a little Hot Wheels ship. This row has some Hot Wheels ones. But that, there's some color, there's some ones that aren't done in the Titanium series. So when it's not in the Titanium series, you gotta, you gotta think Hot Wheels. Because these ones are thick, too. I mean, they're honestly the same. The only difference is the Titanium series ones tend to have more, like, movable parts and stuff. And they're, like, movable limbs. So they're just, like generally like a little bit higher quality and the hot wheels ones have like english writing like a couple numbers under them like they're very small but like you'll notice them if you pick up the ship and look at it um so we got ray's thing this row is kind of like disney era star wars i'm expanding it you know they only deserve one row i mean it's respectable they, they've done some good work i like mando and shit Alright, so yeah, Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer, we got Ray's Speeder, a little tilted, I gotta fix that, but it's honestly, it keeps tilting itself, so. We got a First Order Star Destroyer. Nothing's super cool. Yeah. And we got a U-Wing. The wings on this actually come out. I probably could expand the wings now that there's a lot of room in this set. Um, but yeah, that thing's sick. And we got the Razor Crest. This thing, this thing's like really new, but it's like half sold out everywhere. It costs like $35, like, and it's sold out, so. Yeah, that's probably the nicest Hot Wheels one. And we got the... Uh, Episode 3 Millennium Falcon, but it reminds me of the solo Millennium Falcon that definitely was not made in this size. It's got all the blue colorway. Like we'll take a quick sneak peek at this normal Falcon for comparison. So they look the same. Um, oh, shit. I lose it. <laughs> yeah, so they look kind of similar, but the blue colorway on this one really makes it feel like it's Lando's ship. I know it's missing that center part and that one part's a little longer in the solo movie but yeah and we got a rogue one thing shuttle i don't definitely don't know what they're called but they were all up in rogue one the wings fold on that really cool really sick one one of my favorites so yeah that's that row um and then finally we got our final row we got a lukey speeder a little luker um, got a tie something, I don't know. The wings fold up and down on that one. Cockpit opens, is cool. Um, and we got the blue Tantive, not Tantive, it's a blockade runner. I don't know what it's called. Is that a Tantive 4? Yeah, it is. Okay. But yeah, I got the blue one. I'll eventually get the red colorway too. I mean, a lot of the Rebel ships are like so expensive, like the Mon Cal. I got uh, the Rebel Transport's only 35, like, so eventually I'll get that. I mean, it's still pricey, but it's like, it's not like some of the other ships, which are just like $175, $200, and just completely unreasonable. But, and we got a Jawa Crawler. Uh, yeah, no, let's, let's go in order. Um, yeah, we got the Falcon. You know, 
you know, good old Falcon rotating, rotating stuff there. You can move those things. Oh, a lot of these have landing gear too. I forgot to mention, like the Jedi starfighters have landing gear, and not the arcs, but you know that is landing gear. That is landing gear. You know, a good amount of the ships have landing gear. Not everyone. All right, back to the tour. Um, we got Luke's Dagobah X-Wing. I opened the cockpit. This one doesn't have landing gear, which is kind of weird. It's got the front landing gear, but the side ones don't work. Actually, that's for all the X-Wings. I feel like, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, could be better. And then we got a white Darth Vader's tie thing, but like a white model. And this one, I, was, I did not realize like I got a white one when I ordered that lot. And I was really happy. It's really cool. And then we got, you know, the Tiberium, what is the Tiberium class shuttle? This thing was sick. Yeah, just a classic. We got the snow speeder. I put those flaps up. You see the right flap won't come as come fully up. This thing looks like burnt almost. Like it, it was like a crashed one. I don't know. Then we got the Jawa thing, the sand crawler. I already showed that. The lights, it's in the bottom row, so the lights don't really hit it great. You know, this thing deserves more of a top row thing, but with the Clone Wars being the, you know, the star of the show, let's be honest. Clone Wars is the shit. We got a classic TIE Fighter. And a Sand Speeder. Another X-Wing. White blue model. We got one of the fucking guns fell off on this one. I don't know where it went. Um, we got a... This is actually not titanium series, that's plastic. It's just got such high detail, it's incredible. Like, I just had to, had to throw it in there on the Star Wars stand. No one could tell the wiser. And we got a nice combo. Those are both titanium series. This one's just on its landing gear. So this is the skiff, and that's the barge. Like, I could put them at the same height, but I feel like that's just more appropriate. And then finally, we got an A-wing back there. A nice little, I think that's the Rogue One A-wing, if I didn't know better. But, like, you know, it's also just an A-Wing. Um, yeah. Alright, on to the next part of... Yeah, on to the next shit. Alright, so we have my in-progress Geonosis thing. You know, it's, um... It's in progress. I gotta cover that shit with sand, and it's just taken... I've been lazy, and I gotta work on this more. But, yeah. Alright, we got a Rogue One thing. This kind of, this is like the Rebels episode, but like, you know, different, a different take on it. It's kind of like, yeah, you, you understand if you're watching this. Um, well, you might not have watched Rebels, but you can understand this anyways. We got a little off-scale tangent, that's a little micro-machine thing. It, I, it ruins the scale, but you know, I don't really care. Because we switch out ships and whatever, it just looks cool. I didn't want to put a star, a star Destroyer, it was even worse scale. But, like, an X-Wing or something would have been too small. So we compromised. Alright, so now we have our little, my little Tatooine thing. Little Tatooine setup. Tried to put, like, things that were, like, fitting. You got the guy with his arm cut off, an old Odi one. And little, you know, Jabba the Hutt guy serving. Um, what is that? Yeah, just, there's some random characters in there, too, for, like, added effect. And we got, you know, Watto and fucking Annie hiding from the dude. Two, uh, Tatooine troopers. And this is, if you could tell, this is the Mandalorian <laughs> ATST, uh, <laughs> with the fucking leg switched. So, yeah, I got a, got a normal one to put in there. It's just such good scale. Um... That, yeah. Who else is in there? You got a Jawa and some people ordering some stuff. Yeah. You know, like, there's like a Mando, the guy from the Mando in here. But, uh, let's just move on. So we got some more micro machines. These are just there. I don't like micro machines that much. I just bought a bunch when I was like a, in a craze. We got a broken X Wing. This thing was kind of fucked up, to be honest. And yeah, that's all I can say for that. We got the green swamp thing that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, uh, this AT Walker, this thing's sick. It's just out of scale, you know? So yeah, pretty much. But it's sick. It's got that orange colorway. Got another Skywalker, same thing. 
two Arctic clone tanks. Those are cool as hell, but you know, not as cool as the black, the normal one, to be honest. Got another one of these walkers, uh, Jawa, Ewok, and Padme. Oh yeah, this thing's great. This is a heir to the Empire, if you've read that. This was a great buy. And there's like Mara Jade and Thrawn and Wedge Antilles and some ships from that thing. I don't want to open up. And we got another Navi Starfighter. We got the submarine from episode one. This thing's cool, but it's actually a micro machine. I just pushed it, wedged it into that stand. Um, Cause yeah, they don't make every ship. Then we got an episode one tank. You see the fucking, the gun's droopy. It's old. Then we got a, another cool model. We have like three colorways for those tanks. That's great. We got another Sith infiltrator just sitting there in Hellfire Droid. Got a little snow speeder. I don't, I don't know why that's there. It's totally not a titanium series thing. We got some micro machines, Star Trek things, and a bobble ship. Star Trek's pretty cool. And Battlefront 2, of course. And some little cheap gold ray in Kylo. We got some X Wings. This, the middle one's black series. The other two are Hot Wheels. And then there's another Hot Wheels A-Wing in the back, and Hot Wheels, the, you know, whatever this thing was called from episode 8. Pac-Man machine followed guy. We got some droids here, didn't really know where to put them. And we got some shuttles here, another Tiberian class. And, got know, Krennic shuttle and some other shuttles and First Order transport. And yeah. You know, that guy. Um, we have these cool backgrounds. These things are just kind of sick. Um, there's no ship on here. I gotta put a ship up there. Got the Emperor and, uh, whatever that guy's name is. And Super Star Destroyer, Star Destroyer, two Micro Machine Star Destroyers, TIE Fighter, TIE Bomber, another TIE Fighter. One of these is a First Order one. Darth Vader's, this thing's rare. Darth Vader's thing. Jedi Starfighter. And then we got a Death Star. We got Kylo. I don't know if you recognize anyone else there. Well, also a Scout Trooper. I gotta move that. that. And uh, now we will continue. Also got some other, like, just extra stuff lying around here. You know, you haven't put used to it. This droid set was so clutch. Like, I haven't set them up in a while, but... Such a good find. They don't actually, they never made clones because the company shut down, so you just gotta use stormtroopers. Um, alright, moving on. We'll, we'll go through this one quickly. There's a cool Kylo bust, and this one's like a titanium series. Like, I, I don't even know what this is. This thing's just cool as hell. Just a, it's a great buy. It's like, kind of reminds me of the titanium series. This is Action Fleet. So yeah, it is like Titanium series, like, but I don't even know. And we got a Carbonite Solo. We just got some people dueling. You you could see who's fighting and who's watching. And yeah, this I gotta take that broken droid out and he fell. And yeah, these guys are oh this whole thing could be replaced with better action figures. These are guys are placeholders. Um, except for, like, the top, the top level is really cool stuff. Oh, yeah, and this Death Star. This thing's cool as hell, too. Put my, uh, stuff in there. It opens up. Um, yeah. And finally, well, not finally, actually, quickly, I have a little quick rebel base. Getting assaulted by some TIE fighters over here. You know, the Millennium Falcon and Chewie over there. And... A little, these are all micro machines, and yeah, I got some extra spare action figures over there, and also just around the room, yeah. Um, I got a TIE fight, destroyed TIE bomber, which reminds me, um, we have like a couple of those big ships up there, I don't know what to do with them. There's a Naboo starfighter behind them too, so it's a Y-Wing and X-Wing, Naboo starfighter and a TIE bomber, I put the TIE bomber here. 
So we have this cool exhibit thing I've set up. I want to move the Chewy from that I just showed you guys a minute ago to here. But this Chewy is cool too with the C3 PO. Actually, it's probably cool. It's probably fun. Um, but yeah. Darth Vader, Palps. And got people fighting down here. The rebels are like planting a bomb. They're trying to stop it. They're like launching an invasion in the Death Star or something. I don't know. <laughs> and then we got this cool ass probe droid. This guy's sick as hell. Got some perfume, you know, my favorite stuff. Um, uh, we got Lant. Kind of like these guys are off size to these guys, but you know, it's kind of like Lando Han and Leia versus the Bounty Hunter boys. <laughs> Bosca Boba and IG. We got Luke fighting the Rancor, classic scene. Got a big Vader. I gotta cut this little end part off so his lightsaber looks better. This one's this one's not great. It's it's cool, but you can see it's not super high quality. And we got Vader doing his choke thing, and I thought he's like pulling the gun or something. And against Lando and Luke looks cool as hell. And you got Jabba doing this thing. Doing his thing, some episode 6 stuff, episode 6, Luke walking the plank. So this is not a titanium series skiff, but the other one is. And we got our little cloud car, and another Luke versus Darth Vader. Got a lot of Luke's versus Vader, so you know. You know the vibes. And finally, to wrap up the collection, we got stuff on my PC. We got a chrome scout walker here. This thing gets, they all get really nice colors and stuff, and I change the color setting around on my PC every couple weeks. So this is the better sand crawler. This sand crawler gets some, like, nice angles. So this sand crawler is appreciated, not like the other one. But then we got another Arctic Rolly Poly. I got three of those for some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, and we got another Obi-Wan Starfighter. This one's a green green Jedi Starfighter, so I don't know whose this is. Some some Jedi. Then we got a blue arc. I had to snip the guns off because they were really messed up. Um I think there or there might have just been one. I had to get rid of them. This is a Hot Wheels series Benadar because the I don't know, I think they're like really close in quality to the titanium series ones, but the titanium series ones are like twice as expensive. So, I just sent it with this one for now, and I'll get a second one at some point. They could, I could have two. The normal colorway. Um, you know, gunship. I mean, yeah, they're finding a little separatist fleet. I've showed you all these ships before. They're just different models of them. Oh, wait, this one's, this one's a nice paint job mall, too, I think. Yeah. No, it's... It, it's just dark. Yeah, so I showed you my nice mall one already. So two more tri fighters. The paint job on this invisible hand has kind of gotten messed up. Yeah. So yeah, and a little. I think I have a one more. Yeah, I forgot to show this one. The green colorway. And got a little Star Wars tower there dug in there. All right, so. That's been my room tour. Thanks for, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.